Health insurance is a pretty basic necessity. Without it, just one injury or serious illness could bankrupt you. Today, we're here to talk to Americans to find out what they know about our health insurance system and to find out if they think they're healthy enough to get health care. Would you say that you know a lot about our health insurance system? No, I don't know a lot about it. Not a whole lot. No. I know a bit. No. I'd probably say I know a little bit. A little bit? What do a you think? Bit, yeah. I do know some. I wouldn't say I know a whole lot. Have you spent a lot of time negotiating with your health insurance, on the phone with them, heard a lot of hold music with them? Of course. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was confusing. Yeah. And, um, I don't even think my doctor really knew what. <laughs> Sometimes a total of about two hours of calling various yeah. people. Even after our doctors wrote uh, letters, they still wouldn't cover it. Well, so if you had to go out today and get health insurance, would you say that you're healthy enough to get health insurance? I'd probably say so, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm healthy enough. Sure I do. Yes. This is all pre-existing conditions that can make you ineligible for health care. Acne, cold sores, foot fungus, acid reflux. But if you were too short, you couldn't get health insurance. Do you think that's fair? Have you ever had a cold sore? Sure. If you've had a history of cold sores, that can actually keep you from getting coverage. Is that right? Does that seem fair? Uh, no. Seems like everybody should be able to get health insurance, no matter whether you had a zit in high school. All of these things can keep you from getting health insurance, which means it could keep you from going to the doctor. Uh -huh. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Bad idea. Do you know that if you have a dangerous job, you might not be able to get insurance? Would that be fair? No. no. It's terrible, oh my goodness. A flight instructor or a dock worker and even a fireman or a policeman, if they went to apply for insurance on their own, they could get turned down just for being a policeman or a fireman. They can get away with that. There's no rule that says they can't. That's crazy. If you're restricting people based off the um, career that they're choosing, basically they're saying, oh, you're at risk, so we don't want to have to pay for it if something happens to you, so we're not going to cover you. All people should have health insurance. What do you think a better way would be? To make sure everybody has all the coverage they need. You need universal coverage, in my opinion. It should be universal. Unfortunately, what Americans don't know about our health insurance system could hurt them the next time they apply for coverage. But it doesn't have to be that way, and you can be part of the solution. Visit StandUpForHealthCare.org and sign the petition that demands that presidential candidates pledge to reform our health care system so that all Americans get the coverage they deserve.